morning this is Sharon from everything beautiful today I want to do a balloon fragrance one of my subscribers or one of my viewer asked me to do a balloon fragrance for her and I'm delighted to do it now I have some information here and this is from a government institution educational institution um, that is in Jamaica and that is the High Trust NTA and that is where you go to learn different skills like so this is a part of your syllabus and it's very credible information now as you can see this is the balloon balance and this is balloon one and this one has double balloon and this one has triple three balloons so I'll be showing you how to do this one and the notes are here also I want to show you something because I think that in America and Europe the names of the valances are actually different and so when I google um, balloon valance this is what I got in the stores at Amazon in America but I realized that in some places in Europe some people call this a balloon valance this is actually an ostrich balance and I'd like to show you something from my other um, encyclopedia of window fashions you also have balloon shades so this is what a balloon shade look like this is also another balloon shade so sometimes some people might get them a little bit uh, mixed up or confused so I hope I'll be clear on that that the information I will be sharing with you today is very credible and that it is actually from the syllabus of the Hard Academy in Jamaica. So I hope you can see it. So for the single balloon, okay, which is this one, medium to heavy weight fabric, example, brocade, um, polished cotton, or linen so you want to use something very stiff not too light to um to to do it also whatever your measurement for your window is say for instance your window is 30 inches wide you want to triple that amount so that would be 90 inches or you want to um, use um, four times that amount um, which would be a hundred and twenty inches and reason being it is the fullness of the valence that gives it the balloon shape so you have to use um, fabric that uh, will stand up because you're going to poof the bottom of it you're going to push it up and when you push it up it's going to be a little like four inches shorter than when you cut it so here it is and what you're going to be doing you're going to cut measure six inches from the edge so after you have the 90 inches or the 120 inches the next step is to so after you have the 90 or the 120 inches width meaning from one side of the window to the other side of the window that is the width of the window and I have to explain this because I know that there are some people that does not under, understand width. They will just say across or from that side to that side. So what it means is from one end of the window to the other end of the window. You would double your fabric if um, the, 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 the window measurement is 30 inches. As I said before, you would use 90 inches wide. Or you would use 120 inches and you can use a little less too but it all depends on the fullness that you want the next step would be from the top down you would measure six inches okay and when you measure that six inches you would fold it off first thing as a matter of fact you want to stitch the size of the valances of the material okay so you want to stitch the side here the next step would be to measure from top six inches off okay so that is my six inches that I've measured off okay from that six inches you are actually going to measure 12 inches 24 inches 24 inches and if you notice here so 
the first one is 6 inches, 3 inches for the header, 3 inches for the rod, and the next one is 24 inches, and then you're going to measure 1 inch for allowance, and the total of that is 31 inches. So from the top of the fabric, meaning from here down, it's going to be 31 inches. So 31 inches foot. And if you notice, I've marked off my 6 inches. So your sides are stitched, you'll mark off your 6 inches. The next step would be to take the 20, the rest of the fabric here and put it underneath here and stitch it stitch down here right along and if you notice there's also a line in the middle here and this would be the ruffle at the top and this would be where the rod would be and when you finish you will have your balloon balance looking like this okay so a lot of gathers would be in it. So it is as simple as that. Okay, I hope I made it simple enough for you. And here is a diagram of it. So here is the, the, the sharing at the top, which is here. First three inches. Here is the next three inches for your rod pocket. And here is the 24 inches folded in two. You can leave the sides open. Uh, because you can put tissue paper in it or greener paper or anything soft you want to help to keep out the fabric and then you're going to poof it up so here it is again and this is the, the double balloon and this is what it looks like okay so if you notice here that's what it's looking like so maybe we will do the um, double balloon and the triple balloon so thank you for watching i hope you understand um this video and um please let me know i try to make it as simple as possible so remember you're going to stitch here and you're going to stitch here but before you stitch here you're going to take this and folding up fold it up underneath that and pinch right along and stitch here and there we will have our balloon balance okay and we poof up here and uh, i hope you're satisfied with that information